Amazon Fantasy. Hey guys, welcome back to Parasite Eve. Uh, since last time, we what did we do? Oh yeah, we we challenged Eve and lost. Uh, she set some horses on fire. We went flying. Um, it look, kind of looked like Eve kind of, you know, went after her almost. Um, I don't think so, but you know, it, it they they kind of made it look like it was implied. Um, oh, you're finally awake. Who are you? I'm Konihiko Mada. I'm a scientist from Japan. He found you. Daniel! There's no one out there but cops. It's a ghost town. Never seen anything like it. Pretty creepy if you ask me. Where's Eve? What happened to the people in Central Park? Ben was okay, but the rest of the audience, well, they just disappeared. Disappeared? You mean they were ignited? They all melted into slime and became one big mass. That's something new. Nothing like that happened in Japan. Japan. A similar incident occurred several years ago in Japan, although it was, wasn't was as grandiose as scale as this one. What? Hey, give us the details. It all started when a scientist's wife was involved in a car accident. The scientist tried to culture her liver cells in order to keep her alive. The scientist named those cells Eve. Eve? The liver cells multiplied and her mitochondria eventually took over her physical body. After acquiring the, the scientist's sperm, Eve tried to give birth to the ultimate being. Ultimate being? What kind of being? She, the being who mutated from liver cells, couldn't maintain her body for long. By the way, before the car accident occurred, the wife has registered to have her organs donated. So after the incident, her kidneys were transplanted into a young girl. And Eve implanted a fertilized egg in the young girl who gave birth to the ultimate being. I was extremely interested and went to his lab so I could continue research. After hearing this incident, I had to fly over here. What the hell is going on here? I wish I could explain more. Aya, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I thought that monster had gotten a hold of you. Thought it was too late. When I felt Eve, something inside of me felt like it was being... You felt you were being about to be ignited, correct? No, she's, well, she's the only one that isn't affected. What? I, I don't understand. I think I may be a monster like her. What, what are you saying, Aya? I don't know. What if I end up killing you? Ah, uh, shut up. You know that's not... Please, Daniel, I, I know, I just know, I don't know anymore. Please go away, just stay away from me. Aya. Please. He's like, awkward. Yes, I understand your point. Hey, where do you think you're going? Yeah, way to let him leave. Even if I am a monster, I don't ever want to kill you, Daniel, please. I could never forgive myself if I killed you.
Yeah, you're no monster. You're the best partner, Aya eh, Bria. I'll always be by your side. Always, Aya. Eh. Whoa, this is an intense scene. Ugh. She gets the whole house to herself. When I touched Eve, that feeling, was it Maya? But Maya died in the car crash with mom. No, it just couldn't be. All right, so we're on day three now, selection. Uh, she's a choosy lover. Hope you guys are liking this Halloween choice. I thought it'd be pretty cool, you know, it's very crimson. Um, from the bankers of Final Fantasy, guys, if you, if you don't know, now you know. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Well, this place looks different in the daytime. Do you guys ever notice that? Like, you know, like a neighborhood that you're not familiar with. You go, like, in the daytime and it's, like, completely different than how you saw it at night. That was a long night. Sleep well? You were here all night? I told you to go away. You could have died, you know. Scientists can't believe anything without proof. It's just one of those things. And besides, what? Oh, nothing. Oh, here comes Daniel. What up, Daniel? Daniel! See, they knew how to control a woman. You know when a woman says go away? They knew just... Let her sleep, she's had a hard night. You know, she'll she'll be back in the morning. No traffic. This is this has gotta be the way around here, Daniel. So what are we sitting around for? We got work to do. Daniel, thanks. Alright, we're gonna need some bigger weapons. There's a gun shop over there. Let's stock up. Yes, let's. So he means over here. If you go over here. You got, we're gonna break into a gun store, guys. This is epic. Um, in Canada, we don't have gun stores. Um, I don't know if this is like an America only thing, but it's locked. Out of the way, Aya. Daniel, no. Sorry, but it's the only way. Even cops break rules, guys. Look at that, like, sharpshooter. After. Are you really a cop? <laughs> That's the funniest thing, like, this game has said. We think so, but we don't have scientific proof, if that's what you're asking. Oh, she's getting, she's getting lippy. She hasn't had her morning coffee. All right, so if you go over here, um, I think there's an Uzi. There's a gun, no, there's a gun over here. Well, one of these is a gun. Um, yeah, so make sure to get rid of your club two, or club one. Ooh, a machine gun, that's nasty. We're gonna change that. Um, it has a little, um, you can load more bullets, that's pretty much it, but, uh, it's not really worth it at the moment. Let's just stick with the rifle. We can always switch in storage, right? Let's give the range to this. I 
I thought like if you oh there we go we got another tool here we got a tool here we don't need that medicine one that does shit now go ahead and pick your favorite accessories ladies This is just too much. I know what you're saying. Um, this is probably the norm in like America. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm not racist or anything. If that's, I don't even think that's the right choice of words, but I'm just gonna keep moving, guys. So if you go the opposite way, there's a medicine shop where you can stock up Fuck do you get out of the scene? Yeah, you just go over here. Excuse me. Uh, luckily this is open. The smell of this place. This place has a smell, Daniel. Yeah, everyone's stocked up on medicine. They don't want to take out the monsters, they just want medicine. Another saw another one over here. Yeah, that's perfect to get. Save your revives, guys. Don't rely on revives. Uh, they're kind of like you need them for later on in the game. I have a lot of stuff to remove when I get back. When I get back to Wayne. All right. Can't get over there. If you want to save your pro progress, go right here. Inventory is full. That's different. Let's get rid of a junk. I guess you have to use it on the other side. We're in Soho. I see if we go out through the this part. So now we're all stocked up and ready to go. Uh, we're we're off to go fight Eve. Uh, I have no idea what's in store next. I should have not. Uh, I don't think he's gonna give us a charm just yet. I guess I go on the passenger side of my next best friend's ride. Yeah, they could do shortcuts. That'd be awesome. So now let's, I think we have to go back to NYPD.
actually no, we have to go to um, the museum, sorry. See, if you know you've gone to the right place, it'll just automatically go into the cutscene. So that's how you figure it out. So where to? Is there a new, any place with a research facility? Research facility? I'd like to conduct an experiment and test something. It might be relevant. How about the facility in the museum where Clamp is at? They have really extensive equipment there. No way, man. Anywhere but there. He should be evacuated by now. It should be okay. Uh, that sounds a good... Is that okay, Daniel? I'm expecting a big tip for this. So this is the American Museum of Natural History. It's just as I imagined. I can find a research facility in this building? Yeah, hopefully we won't run into that jerk who runs it. Since he's been evacuated, it should be empty. Hmm, for a lab in a museum, it has fairly extensive equipment. So what do you want to test? Yes, yes, of course, let me see. I was able to extract a gel-like substance from Aya's clothing. Gel? Is it from Eve? Yes, it appears to be a remnant of Eve's cells. At the cellular level, her power cannot be as strong as Aya said previously. Ow! Hey, what are you doing? I just want to conduct this experiment to see whether or not... Hmm, yes, yes, this is exactly as I... Oh, just, just look, go ahead, take a look. What is it? Whoa. I thought this was so trippy back in the day. Whoa. Like, look at the colors and shit. Like, imagine if they put, like, HD on this. So, these little things, I'm guessing, is the... Are, they're trying to attack the nucleus. That's what happened. <coughs> <coughs> That's what happens to a normal person. Your cells are completely surrounded by them. As you can see, the mitochondria or Eve has taken over the nucleus. In a similar matter, the beast that attacked you probably experienced the same thing. Does the mitochondria really have the power to control the nucleus? No, the normal mitochondria never had such power. But Eve's mitochondria has gone through tremendous evolutionary changes. This is what I think happened to Eve's mitochondria. Normally, mitochondria requires oxygen when they generate energy called ATP. So this time, the mitochondria requests oxygen from the nucleus. Without the energy supply from the mitochondria, the nucleus cannot function. So in essence, the two organelles constantly rely on each other or in this case it seems that Eve developed the power to reserve reverse the symbiotic relationship evolution or even mutation seems likely in this case reverse the cycle look at this even with the limited number of cells her cells have this much power can you imagine how much power Eve has within the whole body Maya Maida Yes, 
Could you test my cells? Yes, of course, but I just want to know. I want to know why I have the power to fight her. I just want to know where I stand with her. Aya. Please, Mayna, I need you. I need to know why. Yes, of course. Thanks, Mayna. Could you step over here, please? I'll need your arm. Like this, here? Yes, yes. Ow! Let me just set this up here. I think you better see for yourself. You know, like, if you get tested and they say that, that's, like, not a good thing. What is it? Is it something wrong? They want you to see for yourself. Oh, shit. So this is what happens when Aya gets contacted with these, like, beasts. She has the ability to use her mitochondria at a fast rate to repel them. This is what I'm getting from this. So they don't attack the nucleus. Do you realize what is happening? Your mitochondria are supplying more energy to the nuclei of your cells. It's almost as if they're protecting the nuclei, nuclei from Eve's mitochondria. Why does Aya's mitochondria have this kind of power? I don't know, I just... Are you familiar with Richard Dawkins' Dockwin, Dockwin, theory of selfish gene? In simple terms, it states that genes act in the matter to preserve and endure survival of the species. Hey man, I don't read those scientific journals. What are you trying to say? Depending on how you look at it, it may stay that Eve is trying to destroy all mitochondria except her own. In response to that, Aya's mitochondria has developed the power to rebel. Why only Aya? Shouldn't it be the same for us as well? We should also have the power based on... That means to follow the natural order of things? I'm sorry, I don't know why. Professor! What are you doing in my lab? This is breaking and entering. Why haven't you evacuated the city yet? I'm asking why you people are in my lab. Uh, we're just... We receive, you've, we've received orders to evacuate the city. Professor, you really should. I tell you, cops are the ones corrupting this fine city. I'm sorry, I, I was just my fault. You see, I just asked them to bring me here. Who the hell are you? Oh, I'm Kunihiko Mada, and I'm a scientist from Japan. You were using my electric t microscope? What? What is this? Where did you get this specimen? Uh, right over here. You! Where did you get these cells? Those are... I, I, I don't know. Do you take me for a fool? With cell like these, they must affect the body's natural state. Er, um, uh... Oh, shut up. I'll just ask Officer Bria. Your cells contain a tremendous amount of energy. Do you feel any bodily changes? I... You should feel somewhat hot, no? Speak up, Officer. I can't hear you. Have you lost consciousness any time recently? Hey. Hey, what the hell is this? Why is my boy's name here? Lorraine. Lorraine's on here too, Clamp. You tell me. You. You tell me what the hell's going on. Let go of me. I don't have anything to tell you. Anything. What? Daniel, calm down. Daniel. Damn. Get out of here. Sorry to disturb you, but you, but we do have to officially warn you of the evacuation. Please remember that. 
Officer Bria, do you enjoy having that barbarian for a partner? Uh, I, uh, uh, thank you, uh, bye. It's too late now. It's too late to do anything now. What's that supposed to mean? Alright, guys. We're gonna call that a wrap. Comment, subscribe, like. Tell your friends. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are liking this for Halloween.